Sometimes, yeah, if it's taking too long, it's taking too long. <laughs> well, you don't. You live around your family. Like my family's scattered to the wind, so I never see them. So when I see them two, three times a year, it's nice. You, right. them. Yeah. well, one third of the time, You're people are it. jumping on your back and crashing into your mom. Yeah, that was the last time I saw my mom. I was like, this is I'm sure she's fault. fine. <laughs> <laughs> Left it by pirates in the Caribbean. Yeah, I think maybe I see them too much. It's like I did. I just saw him for Sage's birthday, which was like a month ago. Yeah. Now it's like, oh, it's a month now we gotta fucking hang out again. Okay. <laughs> and then Christmas before that. All right. Oh, it's too much. All right, fuck it, it's too much. Can I call the next Yeah, time? yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's do it. Uh, yeah. Well, no, you have to stay up here. That's the way it works. Don't fuck it, leave. Uh, you try to leave too. Do you want to try it? You want to try and sit on this chair? <laughs> it's, okay. it's fucked up. It's great. It's really something else. So another, uh, another an annoying thing that you need to think about if you are a fan of a convention is if <laughs> when did this turn into like a therapy session for you? Isn't it, isn't it a chair please do a chair review. It feels like an 80s hairband <laughs> used it at one point to make the sex on. And like, so it's like, oh, it, it looks kind of cool, but like, no, it's like burnt out. Like, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just not comfortable. Here I am, I'm going to stand. 
anybody can sit in the chair. I want to give her a reward. <laughs> it's like, I guess you too. All right. So I just want to in it. I think you're sliding. Well, a, another thing you need to be conscious of is when you're taking a photo with a, a small uh, Paquito celebrity, like, like Daniel Harris, and... Uh, she can get her fingers in real deep. Just, <laughs> just got to be careful. <laughs> and you are a, a large, sweaty oh, I just keeps happening to me. <laughs> man that their head, when you take the picture, put your arm around them, is in your sweaty armpit. And your, like, wetness and everything is getting stuck, on, like, all on them. And you're smiling for the camera. Think about what you're doing to them. So, if you are very sweaty or whatever, just stay, just stay a few inches away or whatever. Or, you know, maybe don't put your arm uh, around the, the small person. Isn't it easier for you to change your behavior, though? Like, if they're doing that, just whisper in there and be like, you're making me so wet. <laughs> well, our next guest is a... <laughs> our next guest is a, a Paquito. Uh, Celeberito. Uh, you know her from, from Holliston and from Victor Crowley from The Hills Have Eyes, Laura Ortiz. So what's your feeling on people just adding O to the end of any given word to make it special? <laughs> How do you feel about that? Uh, I don't really have any feelings towards it. No, you don't care? And yeah. uh, time's not up. All right. Do you, got, uh, do you have a killer, a killer story of failure in you anywhere? Oh. One time I attended this uh, New Jersey horror con. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I, I just know that Eric handed me some stuff before I came into this room. And state that's fine but i don't like to uh I'm drinking, I'm drinking water it's not fun drugs <laughs> why would this motherfucker just join diamond ballroom I, I, I just joined <laughs> i to shut it's off the wi-fi it'll, it'll, it'll stop but we really need to for a bit yeah yeah don't worry about it <laughs> uh, so there's no story, there's no horrific team. I'm sure there is. There's just no one to press anybody. We've got to come up. Do you want to borrow one of mine? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? yeah. She failed. Well, she she failed. Yeah. Computer failure. That's too soon. Too soon. That was so mean to bring that up. These people are walking out because you brought that up. You guys fucking suck. You guys Adam would know one. Oh, Just remind me. Give me the lead up. Okay, the time that you... The time that you auditioned for... Go. Oh, yes. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Adam, did you, see, did you see the I was like, holy shit, is there a story about this? <laughs> <laughs> did you see the Lolita remake? Uh, no. She eats a banana at one point. I thought it was a little on the nose, to be honest. <laughs> Like sexy eats a banana? A little bit. And she's a Lolita, so, you know. Do you know if you type in the word Lolita, like if you're looking up those The Fed show up to your house. No, it like, it blocks it. <laughs> so you can't even look up that film. Uh, I don't remember why I was looking Wait, up. so you, I don't remember why I was looking up Lolita. I wasn't looking up Lolita. <laughs> why does any one person have a Dot com slut dot com. Why would anyone do that? Hey, Q, what do you have to say about that? <laughs> you rascal, you uh, you inappropriate rascal, you you. Oh, shit, he's trying to like, open the motherfucking door. You yeah, got family. <laughs> what happened? Because on the on the cruise, the last time I joined these guys from these, we were on the the Practical Jokers cruise. Yeah. Right. So we go from Costa Maya, Mexico, to Iceland. Is that where we're at? Is Iceland? The, the, so, but but he was. People were like going like. 
and he's like, fuck you! Get the fuck out of my show! This isn't a practical joke, go fuck yourself. And now you're all like, you rascal. Did you get in trouble for that? No. The reason why I was able to do that there and not here is because we weren't recording that show and nobody was allowed to record the show, so I could just do and say, you know, I can be myself. Now, this guy's got a camera, that guy's got a camera, somebody over there's got a camera, I don't know these people, so I, you know, I gotta distance myself from the, the, the stuff that gets people in trouble. I gotta be like, no, 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 I like family entertainment and, uh, and uh, church. Uh, I, don't, I don't condone the uh, drug use or the... Uh, the MPAs are that bad, aren't they? Yeah, the MPA, I don't know. They sound okay to me, man. Maybe you should just talk it out with them. That's all I'm saying. I can't be myself when people are recording. That's the problem. I gotta like be like, hey, okay. Look what happened to Mel Gibson. He's coming back. The guy lets his guard slip once. And that's it. What did he call? What, what's the, was it sugar, sugar tits? tits. Sugar tits. <laughs> 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 oh, I haven't failed at anything. Oh, Mr. Green. What, what was the porn store? There is no, he was just making shit up. <laughs> Alright. Derek failed at hair. <laughs> <laughs> I got in trouble for this one because I said he had baby AIDS. People started hashtagging baby AIDS. <laughs> what do you have to say about that, Brian? AIDS is uh, no laughing matter right now. Babies are sacred. <laughs> so, so similar to you, I try to be like, like oh, I don't want to offend people. Yeah. Right now. I know people believe awesome. Yeah, everyone to knows you're a dealer. <laughs> <laughs> Dealers right. choking chicks. But as soon as that baby age thing hit, all of a sudden my Twitter lights up and like hashtag baby age. Or, ah, yeah, the people who are there understand the humor. And everyone else is like, yeah, real funny. I'm like, no, it's not. So I completely relate to you, brother. I get it. I guarantee if you went to Twitter to change your handle to like at baby age, you would be like at baby age 1271. Like there's tons of people who have the real baby aids. <laughs> Check mark. <laughs> <laughs> Origin. Why won't they verify me? Is this normally how your guys' show goes? Like, uh, yeah. Less AIDS. Awesome. Yeah. Less AIDS. <laughs> normally, normally, the tech guys are not so resistant to join Diamond Ball. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. <laughs> uh, no. Normally we, we, we don't, like, we're, we're, like, this literally, like, f four hours ago, we were like, ah, hey, you want to do a show tonight? So we're like, yeah, we got a lot of fun people, we'll all just stay sober and do a show, and what happened was, is, uh, nobody stayed sober. And sometimes your show gets hijacked by wild Indians, like, literally, <laughs> wild Indians. I was on the cruise with Adam and, and Q, and I was supposed to do a show with them. And I was a half hour late because I was drinking fire water with, oh. with real Native American guys. <laughs> well, <laughs> well woo. that doesn't sound respectful to the culture, my friend. <laughs> I won't have that on my stage. I'll admit it smelled a lot like urine, but they said it was fire water. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. We're going to our next guest. <laughs> Another funny story, though, about that moment. So, so Brian's 30 minutes late to the stage, and so it was just Q and I uh, doing stuff, and he, Q, Brian had left his notebook there with all his thoughts, and we're doing it. And anyway, at some point, because we had just showed Victor Crowley, this child, uh, why, why he was at the screening, I don't know. What was the kid, six? Wants, to, wants us to explain what fisting is. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> so Adam's like, as a filmmaker, we never tell, we show. <laughs> when a man loves a woman, he said. Or sometimes hates her so much. <laughs> or a man loves a man, or a man loves a woman, man. Uh, sometimes they'll... There's a child here. There's a child here. Yeah. Earmuffs. Yeah. Uh, Sometimes I'll put a fist in each other's asshole. And that is, that's up to them. That's up to them if they want to. Okay, sure. This is America, man. Our next guest. <laughs> Speaking of fisting, please welcome to the stage Tiffany Shepes. Yeah. <laughs> what, what do you get to carry the 
we're talking about fisting. I mean, If you, if you haven't seen Victor Crowley yet, uh, it, it, this would make sense if you had seen it. Hello! Hello. Welcome back. Thank you. And I'm here now with uh, my beautiful models. I never got a chance to thank them. Thank you, beautiful model number one and number two. I was asking myself the question, what would happen if you threw a, a, a film awards and no one showed up? And I was thinking we would have started a half hour earlier. <laughs> if anyone can answer your question about personal failures, Tiffany? It is true. I have had a sad, sad, long and dark career. When I've only had to look up to a man that idolizes his little pup. His little body and his little hatchet franchise. <laughs> and I finally got to be a part of it. <laughs> and it was part four, and it wasn't even fucking called hatchet. That is a failure. Mom, I have failed. Um, yes, there's been a lot of failures in my career. You were only number 485. <laughs> so I feel bad. Uh, failures, failures. Shit, a lot. That Work ceremony. Yeah. Failure. Uh, my special oh, guest. Please don't write that on Failure your one, failure two. Oh, oh no. Oh, Are you here to answer off. charges? Yeah. I'm sorry, little kid. I'm sorry. Not you. Everyone but you. Uh oh. What's happening? Shove us down? Yeah, there's some uh, young uh, rock and rollers who want to take the stage. Are they really? Really? Well, What's the name just, of the band? I just want to say this is a failure. It's, it's Peter Chris. Right? Oh, there's a band <laughs> that has to play here? Now? <laughs> oh, man. Failure! Oh, hold on. All right, hold on, hold on. We got five more minutes? Five more minutes. Five more minutes. All right. All right, so we're going to bring up our final guest of the night. Right. Uh, he's uh, literally my favorite person in the world to work with, because uh, I, I literally, if I kill him, I just bring him back as another character. Perry Shin! <laughs> he's still running like a power Do you guys follow, anyone follow Perry on Instagram or anything? If you, if you saw him singing I Don't Want to Live on the Moon as Ernie, it was the most incredible thing. And I think because we do have some children here, it would be awesome if you just, just, like, just, just like two lines. I have to like look at the lyrics. <laughs> no one will know if you're wrong. No one will be able to. Will the band be upset? Like, they're going to be on stage or right? This is amazing. <laughs> Well, I'd like to visit the moon on a rocket ship high in the air. Yes, I'd like to visit the moon, but I don't think I'd like to live there. Now that is the sort of wholesome entertainment that I can get behind while there are cameras pointed at. Yes. Peace, assholes. Yeah.